Well, we mentioned bulk, right? Yes. Buying in bulk. We know that there are big savings buying in bulk, but you can also spend a lot, especially when you get carried away with your purchases like I do. Let's have a look at one of my favorite clips from Modern Family that shows what happens when it's your first trip to the big box bulk store. Look at these diapers. Oh, look how cheap they are. Oh, you know what we should do? We should get enough for like the next year or two, right? Where would we keep them? They sell sheds. Really? You want to buy a diaper shed? We're, we're those guys now, the guys with the diaper shed. Just grab two more. I'm not grabbing two more, Mitchell. It's time to go. No, come on, come on. We need a... Hey, excuse me. Where did you get that flatbed thing? Over there. Go grab one of those. Really? Yeah. Get two. on City TV, so check your local listings. So if you don't get carried away, you can <laughs> save money buying in bulk, but some items have more savings than others. Here with his tips, welcome our lifestyle expert, Christian Dare. <laughs> comes to bulk buying, um, yeah. you might be a little bit surprised about what you should or should not yeah. buy in bulk. Yes, but I will urge everyone, you should. Like, even when I was working okay. on this, people were like, you buy in bulk, Christian? You don't seem like a bulk buyer. I'm like, how do you think I pay for expensive shoes? <laughs> like, you need to save money somewhere. Right. So make the sort of research, see if it's better in bulk or not bulk, and save that money. Yes. Stash it in the shoe fund. Don't okay. tell your husband. Right. So you are, you're a pro bulk shopper. Like, Pretty this much. is your life. This is what you do. Not 24-7, but yeah. <laughs> You've done it before. So I'm going to I'm gonna ask the question, and I yeah. will test the audience, and we've got answers here, Quiz whether it time. should be bulk or, or not in bulk. And I'm going to start with household paper products. Should you buy it in bulk or, or not, not in bulk? I'm talking about toilet paper, tissue paper. Do you buy it in bulk? I would say yes, buy it in bulk. Most of them say yes. Buy it in bulk. Seems buy it in bulk. It's actually incorrect. Don't so buy it in bulk. If you buy it in bulk, toilet paper comes in at sixty-two cents a roll. Okay. If you wait till it goes on sale at your local stores, yes. you can get it for forty-nine cents a roll. Oh. So what I do is I actually just stock up when it goes on sale at my local store. Yes. So because then you've got it for a while, right? Same with Kleenex yeah. or tissues. Okay. Eighty-nine cents, not in bulk. If you actually did it in bulk, it's probably about a dollar thirty-three. Okay. So it's much cheaper if you yes. just wait for your local sales versus getting, and you, then you don't have a toilet paper of 48 rolls you have to deal with, right? It seems like the right thing to do because you're going to be wiping your bum for a lifetime. You know what I true, mean? True, true. But, but it does make sense. I mean, the sales you get on your local grocery store, um, yeah. they're good. So check out the local sales, exactly. Sales. Okay, next question. Laundry detergent, is it cheaper to buy in bulk or not in bulk? I'm going to say in bulk. Okay, everyone's, most of you are saying in bulk, some of you say no. What do you say? So this one's actually a little bit of a trick question. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, if you are someone who purchases liquid detergent, yes. it's usually about 34 cents a load when you're buying it in bulk. Okay. Not bulk, waiting for a local sale, you can get down to 22 cents a load. So liquid detergent, then not bulk. Not bulk. Okay. But if you are a pod fan, I know lots of people are doing pods these days. Yeah. Pods are always cheaper in bulk, 34 oh, cents. Oh, okay. Because they almost always have a great price. Yeah. I think because they're new, your local store doesn't often put pods on sale. Got it. So much, depending which one you use, yeah. bulk or not bulk. See, I'm a liquid detergent person, so not bulk. That's shocking to me. Okay, the next one, uh, buying beauty products. Beauty products. Is it cheaper to buy in bulk or is it cheaper to buy not in bulk? I'm going to say not in bulk. What do you guys say? Beauty products. Not Most of bulk. you are saying not in bulk. Are you not just copying me? <laughs> so I don't know if I'm right or not. Am I right? I don't know if it's because you're scared about buying that much mascara. That's why I'm, yeah, I'm scared. Uh, I mean, it depends on the item again. Okay. But what I will tell you is it's almost always better to buy in bulk. Really? So if you, yes. If you're oh. one of those people who buys cosmetic wipes, oh, true. which are great for you, yeah, that's if true. you actually buy them in bulk, they're usually, not bulk, sorry, they're about $1.20 a sheet, right? That's, n that's not in bulk. That's not in bulk. Okay. Bulk, 25 cents <gasps> a sheet. Okay, That's a dollar boy. towards your shoes already. Totally. <laughs> that makes a lot of sense too because um, you're gonna have the makeup wipes for a long, long time. It's not a mascara. Exactly mascara right. I'd be worried about. Mascara I wouldn't buy in bulk, probably. Yeah. The other thing that gets a bit tricky is sunscreen. Mm. So sunscreen is actually always better in bulk. So if you buy at the grocery store, it can be very expensive, sort of yeah. $17. Okay. 
If you buy it in a bulk section, you can get it for about $10. But are you gonna use all that sunscreen? That's the tricky part. To be honest, I use it like crazy. Uh-huh. Because it also keeps you younger. Yeah. <laughs> Spray it every day. Right, okay. So all year round is all really All year round it. is really what you should be doing. So you should yeah. be able to get through some of it, especially if you're a family. I would definitely recommend buying it in bulk. Okay, good stuff. Uh, let's talk about spices and nuts. Spices nuts. and nuts. Is it better some to spicy buy nuts. Some spicy <laughs> nuts? Better to buy in bulk? or not in bulk. I'm once again going to say not in bulk and you guys are very divided. The very divided. A half and half. What do you think? This one's actually always in bulk. In bulk? In bulk. So spices, spices are always in bulk. You're going to have them for 20 years. So spices in bulk are yeah. always cheaper. Just make sure you're going to use them. Spices right. technically do not go bad, mm -hmm. but they do lose their flavor after 12 months. Got it. But so you have to use it in a year. Use it within a year. I mean, I put hot you flakes on everything, yeah. so you can definitely use it. And pepper things you use a lot. Yeah. Nuts, definitely always in bulk, because nuts can get very expensive. They're about $10 yeah. a pound when it's not in bulk. You can get it down to $6 a pound. But you have to eat them, though, because they to go eat them. rancid. They go rancid. So right. this is the other trick, is if you buy nuts and you want that deal, put them in the freezer. Oh. It actually keeps them longer and they won't go rancid. Oh my gosh, you're You've so smart. You've got up to 12 months before a nut goes technically rancid, but okay. if you don't think you're going to use it, put it in the yeah. freezer, pull it back out around Christmas, and then you've got nuts. Oh, good right? stuff. Right? And they're fresh. Okay, good. I love that. All right, buying groceries, food, beverages. Is it cheaper to buy in bulk, I would say, or not in bulk? Food, beverages, groceries. Let's see, what's everyone saying? Cheaper to buy in bulk Looks like or mostly not in bulk? bulk. I'm going to say bulk. This is another divided situation. Okay, what does Sorry. it depend on? <laughs> uh, if you're doing sort of staples like pasta, yes. definitely. If you're buying it at your sort of grocery store, it's usually about 80 cents for 100 grams. Mm -hmm. Bulk is about 43 cents. Okay. So half the price when you're doing pasta, so it's great. Yeah. But soda right. is actually always better if you buy it on sale at your local store. You can get it down, like in bulk is usually about 46 cents. Yeah. You can get down to about 33 cents when it's on sale. Okay. Right? It's like, I'll drink to that. <laughs> <laughs> nice morning drink there. Often the bulk places won't put this on sale because they see it's a necessity and you'll just buy it. So you don't right. think about it, right? Okay. All right. Last one. Vitamins and supplements. Is it cheaper to buy in bulk or not in bulk? I'm going to say not in bulk. I'm just worried about expirations and what have you. But uh, so, vitamins and supplements. Vitamins and supplements actually last up to two or three years. Really? Pharmaceutical over the counters lose their dosage. So that Got I it. would be careful of. Okay. But for example, I love the melatonin. It yes. helps me sleep at night. Yes. It's usually 21 cents a pill if you're buying it normally. Yeah. You can actually buy it at those bulk stores. Yeah. Eight cents a pill. <gasps> buy in bulk. Buy in bulk. Buy Especially in bulk. melatonin, using it every single day if you're one of yes. those people, it's a great deal. Okay, I got them all wrong. That's you got so them right. That means I learned something. <laughs> Christian, thank you so much for that. Let's